Chapter 11 Foreign Exchange Markets The foreign exchange Forex or FX market is a large over the counter, i.e., non exchange based market consisting of a network of banks, brokers, traders, dealers, hedge funds, corporates, speculators, and individuals who wish to exchange one unit of currency for another currency. Most FX transactions are done in US dollar with non-US dollar trades using the US dollar to facilitate the exchange of the non-US dollar currencies. When FX rates are quoted, they are quoted in pairs. The first in the pair is referred to as the base currency, and the second currency is referred to as the quote currency. The value of the base currency is always 1. In other words, the quote currency is expressed per unit of base currency. An exchange rate is said to be quoted directly if it expresses how many units of domestic currency are needed to buy one unit of foreign currency. For example, USD Canadian dollar of 0 0.78794, in other words, 0 0.78794 US dollars would be required in order to buy one Canadian dollar. An exchange rate is quoted indirectly if it expresses how many units of foreign currency are needed to buy one unit of domestic currency. So again, assuming that we are domiciled in the USA, a US dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate of 1.2692 is indirect because it tells us that 1.2692 Canadian dollars would be required to buy one US dollar. The USD is the world's reserve currency, with the most global transactions being denominated and facilitated in USD. For this reason, the US dollar is the base currency in major forex quotes. The main exceptions to this rule occur when quoting exchange rates based on Great Britain Pound or GBP or Euro. The rules for expressing most forex quotes can be summarized as follows. Just bear in mind there, that there are some exceptions even to these rules, but these rules cover a majority of cases. When quoting forex transactions involving euro, always use the euro as the base currency. When quoting forex transactions involving the pound sterling, always use the pound sterling as the base currency unless the quote is euro pound in which case use the euro as the base currency. When quoting forex transactions involving the US dollar, always use the US dollar as the base currency, unless the quote is in euro or GBP, in which case use either GBP or euro as the base currency. Market makers will often quote a bid offer spread for forex transactions. The bid price is the price at which the market maker will buy the foreign currency that you hold, in terms of the local currency. The offer price is the price at which the market maker will sell foreign currency to you, in terms of the local currency that you hold. The difference between the bid and offer prices reflects the liquidity of the currency pair being traded. Market makers provide a buyer of currency for each seller, and a seller of currency for each buyer. They therefore need to ensure that they are able to offload any excess amounts of any particular currency that they hold at any given time. Spreads allow them leeway to do so, whilst minimizing the probability of incurring losses, in case they need to either increase their prices or decrease their prices in order to offload currency. When in doubt, always assume that the lowest rate quoted of the bid offer would be the one that you would be paid by the market maker, and that the highest rate would be the one that you would need to pay to the market maker. In other words, assume a worst case scenario. When dealing with large market participants, such as investment banks, spot trades would be quoted on a T plus two settlement basis, meaning that the actual amount would be paid and the currency received two business days after the trade was executed. Cross-exchange rates. Most exchange rate transactions are US dollar based. 
If one wished to do a transaction between two non-US dollar currencies, with the exception of the Euro Japanese Yen, Euro Great Britain Pound, and Euro Swiss Franc, one would need to convert the first currency to US dollars and then convert the US dollars into the desired currency. Take for example a Tsar Great Britain Pound trade. If the market provided us with the following quotes, we could calculate the implied Tsar GBP exchange rate. So the market gives us a US dollar Tsar quotation with a bid and offer spread. And then it also gives us a GBP USD quotation, but the market does not directly quote a Tsar GBP quotation. So we can find that. And the first thing that we'd need to do would be to convert our Tsar to US dollars. We do this assuming the worst case scenario rate and the rate to use here would be the offer rate of 15.0396 Rand per dollar. In other words, we need to pay more rands to get that dollar. This would yield 1 over 15.0396 or 0 0.0665 dollars per rand. For the second step, we would now need to convert these dollars into pounds. Again, we use the worst case scenario, and this would be the bid rate of 0 0.7204 dollars per pound. So again, it's the worst case scenario because here we are receiving as few pounds as possible for our dollars. So this would yield a final result of 0 0.0665 multiplied by 0 0.7204. This would give us 0 0.0479 pounds per rand. And then we can just invert that by saying 1 over 0 0.0479 to give us 20.8781 rand per pound. So that's the bid price for a czar to pound conversion. In order to facilitate this transaction, the FX dealer would have had to use a bid rate on one leg and an offer rate on the other leg. This is referred to as crossing bid offer spreads. Traders seek to minimize the amount of times they cross bid offer spreads, as each time they do so, they incur additional transaction costs. If a trader wished to perform the reverse transaction, that is converting from GBP to ZAR, they would first convert their GBP to USD. So the worst case scenario here would be the offer rate of 0 0.7240 pounds per dollar because you're getting fewer dollars for your pounds. You're assuming a stronger dollar using that offer rate. So this would yield 1 divided by 0 0.7240 which is $1.3812 per pound. The second step, you'd need to now convert your dollars into ZAR. Again, the worst case scenario would be to use the bid rate of 14.2314 because you're getting fewer rands for your dollars. This would yield 1.3812 multiplied by 14.2314 or 19.6564 rand per pound or 0 0.0509 pounds per rand. So we would combine those two quotations, the bid and the offer, and we'd receive a bid and offer spread for GBP ZAR of 19.6564 to 28781. And then if we want to quote it indirectly, we just do the reciprocal. In other words, one divided by those respective bid and offer prices to get a bid of 0 0.0479 or 0 0.0509 for your offer. So just to recap, whenever a trader would do a cross exchange rate, they would need to cross the bid offer spread. Why this is seen as a cost is the true value of an exchange rate is the spot rate. Now a trader would add a spread or subtract a spread to the spot rate to get your offer and your bid prices respectively. So that spread is a cost that whoever's buying the foreign currency would need to pay. And so every time you cross a bid offer spread, you're either earning less for the currency that you're selling or you're paying more for the currency that you want to buy. And that's seen as a transaction cost, which should be minimized.